All right, welcome aboard the Mooney. We are getting ready to take off. We're gonna go fly to Des Moines today. Um, I just had a massage. Uh, Sam gave me a wonderful massage at uh, Massage Heights. So my face might be looking a little dopey, but that's okay. We're gonna have fun today. We're gonna fly to Des Moines and uh, it's gonna be part of my Fly Iowa Challenge. Um, I joined this Fly Iowa Challenge and I'll get my book out and I'll show you what it's about. So I got Fly Iowa Challenge. Here it is, the Fly Iowa Challenge. So really cool. This is a passport to the world, it says. Iowa Airport's passport to the world. Um, we are kind of a flyover state, but it's a lot of fun to fly in this state. And so basically what it has is it has every airport inside of, of Iowa. There's 104 of them. And so whenever I go to an airport, I sign off on it. And that's what I'm going to do today. Um, Des Moines happens to be one of the uh, commercial airports. Uh, I visited so far Dubuque, Mason City, uh, Sioux Gateway, and Waterloo. Um, those are all commercial airports as well. Um, I'm going to fly to Des Moines today and knock that off my list. It's going to be a short flight. It'll probably be a little longer than usual because the winds are pretty, pretty brutal today. They're coming straight down the pipe. So um, it's going to be going down, going to the south, and they're coming almost straight out of the south. So, But we're going to get ready to take off. And so what I'm going to do is use this camera Hi. to show you what I do when it comes to uh, what I look for and how, I'm, how I go about uh, starting up this aircraft. So the way we start it up is I already turned on the nav, uh, the avionics and everything. We're going to hit enter. We're going to get this thing to get to this screen. What we're going to do is we're going to put this, we're going to ignore that. We're going to put this mixture. This is the mixture dial. We're going to push this all the way in. We're going to turn on the fuel pump. Now I'm looking over here at the fuel pressure guy gauge there, making sure that it comes up and it does. So it tells me that I've got good fuel pressure. Uh, right now I'm looking at the tank. I'm on the left tank, which is the fuller tank. I uh, want to make sure that uh, I do that. I have it on that one. What I do next is we'll put in the carb heat. We'll put in the cabin heat, make sure everything's in. All of the, all of the uh, breakers are in. Uh, we're making sure of that. And uh, we will go ahead and get this thing started. The way you start it is you pump this four times. One, two, three, four. And you crack it a little bit. Make sure the area is clear. We're going to clear the prop. And we crank it. Ooh, yeah. She starts right up. I love it when she starts right up. It's that uh, Surefly mag, I think, that does that and stuff. Uh, this is my JP en JPI engine monitor. It asked me if I filled it up. I did not fill it up, um, but it'll ask me how many gallons and stuff I want to do. Um, basically, it translates into this, so that way I can know how much fuel burn that I've actually had. So it's already set to zero, so used, it's zero. Uh, we're going to go ahead and lean out the mixture a little bit. I'm going to turn on the noise canceling too, so I don't have to talk so loud. At least I don't feel like I have to talk so loud. Noise canceling is fantastic in this. So, uh, we're like basically going through this, uh, making sure everything's going good. Oil temperature's at 66 degrees. So, um, when I took the blanket off, the blanket is an insulator is what that is. And we're going to pull down these, um, the engine. 77, Delta Golf, 10 mile final for one nine, practice on that. And we're going to pull that down to the, th down to a thousand RPMs. And just let the oil get through the engine. And make sure everything's good to go. Reason I had the blanket all over that uh, the the engine. It's kind of an insulating blanket, is what it is. And um, I throw a heater in there. It's a twin Hornets heater, and that's twin Hornets heater keeps the engine compartment at 70 degrees all the time. It kicks on and off as it needs to. Um, it is a um, solid state heater, so there's no spark. There's no nothing like that. So it's good for boat. Uh, Boat, boat bilges and, and airplane uh, stuff, so there's nothing going to catch fire or anything. So it's kind of nice that it's in there because it keeps the uh, engine nice and warm. So when I come out here on a 10 degree day, I start the aircraft, it, the oil is already at like 65, 70 degrees, which is pretty awesome. It helps keep everything lubricated. And it doesn't give you the fluctuations of temperatures from hot to cold, hot to cold, hot to cold, where you build uh, condensation in water. And that water causes rust. We don't want to do that. So by having that in there, it's pretty awesome. On the other side, I have um, 
you have five batteries. Um, on the other side, I have a um, battery maintainer. So batteries on these things aren't, aren't cheap, so I keep a battery maintainer on it. It's basically just con constantly trickle charging it, and hopefully adds to the life, the life of the um, the battery. Ames Municipal Airport, Ames, Iowa. Automated weather observation two one zero one Zulu. Wind two zero zero at one one. Peak gusts two three. Visibility Ooh. one Ooh. zero. Sky condition clear. Temperature one one Celsius. Dew point minus zero two Celsius. Altimeter two niner niner eight. Remarks. Density altitude six hundred. All right, that wind is stiff, man. We are going to. Uh, what we can do is we can put direct in here. I'm not going to uh, because I know where I'm going. Uh, but you can uh, K A D S M enter uh, activate direct, and that basically has me going straight to Des Moines. We're actually going to go down uh, to the west side of Des Moines. We're going to fly around Valley West Mall for a reason, and then we're going to fly past downtown, and then we'll come back. Traffic November three two four Julia Papa King Air ninety is entering runway one nine for a straight out departure at departing to the east. Ames. All right, got guys uh, departing, got guys going. We've got the uh, engine good warmed up now. Uh, we're sitting at 1,000. Everything seems to be good. Uh, got the engine, I turned off the pump. Uh, still got good fuel fuel pressure, which is good. We got this green light on. This green light's Traffic important to have seven on. Seven off on now, a six mile final for one nine eight. So the reason that this is good, uh, uh, noticing that this is good, the reason that we want to do that is to make sure that the, uh, um, And when we take off and we put the gear down and we put it back up or put the put the gear up and then we put it back down, the green light, uh, we want to make sure it works and it does work. So it's it's illuminated and lit. So we are good. So we are good to go. We're going to go ahead and get this thing rolling and see if the brakes work because that's what we want to test that. So we'll go ahead and get some power and brakes. They work, which is awesome. And we will go ahead and start taxing. So I'm going to turn up the volume here. We're going to start hearing some people talking. Ames traffic, Mini 875 is taxiing to runway 19 from the hangars. Ames. Let's see here. So we want to. We are going to tune in the A sauce or ATIS. Basically, the weather of Des Moines. Addison inside for 7 Delta Golf, down factor. Frequency. 119.55. So when we get up in the air, we're going to get the weather. 19. And this is, I use this one radio right here all the time for, um, for my weather. I use that all the time for weather. I use all this other one for comms. and pull the power back and just let this thing coast. Got two uh, rental planes here. This is part of the school stuff. So we are currently going to runway 19. Like I said, the wind is coming at us and it's pretty stiff. So it'll be, we'll get off the ground pretty quickly. All right, we're going to face up this way around, nothing there. We're going to power this up. About 2,000. There we go. Mixture's full rich. Got the pump on. We'll check the left mag. So, drops like 75, back up to both. Right mag, 75, back up to both. Pull the carpet. Drops about 75. Now we're going to go ahead and pull this. And what this is going to do is is add prop. What I'm doing is I'm getting oil in the the uh, prop up. So what's happening now is the RPMs are dropping and the manifold pressure increases. And then the oil pressure drops. So that's what we're looking at. All right. We will go ahead and pull this back and see if she dies. 
she does not die, which is good. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and lean this out just a hair because I like uh, the engine. It runs a lot harder and better with it just leaned out just a little bit. So got that on. We're going to go ahead and get takeoff configuration flaps going. So one, two, we've got to put this up. Make sure it goes up. We'll try it again. Put this down, go one, two. We got takeoff configurations. Flight controls are free and correct. And we are good to go. We're going to go ahead and turn on the landing light. It tells people, hey, listen, this guy's going to be serious about something. Ames traffic, Mooney 875 is going to hold short runway 19 for landing traffic. Ames. Traffic RV7 Delta Golf, low approach only. We are going around and we'll be departing to the north, Ames. All right, this guy's doing a low approach. Yeah, that's kind of cool. He's got an experimental there. Is that what that is? I don't know. Okay. Well, whatever it is. All right. We'll get ready to roll. Let's get going. Um, he's now turning out. And we will get going. So uh, everything works. Everything's good. Everything's in the green. We're on the left tank, which is good. Um, we got the weather. We got the weather for the next place, which is good. We'll contact Des Moines, and then they'll, they'll give us guidance on what we can and can't do, especially in their air traffic. So we'll get ready to go. Ames traffic, Mooney 875 is departing runway 19 to the south. Ames. All right. Everything's working. That's working. Compass is working. We're pointing down the middle. It's bright. All right. Here we go. Power up. Everything's in the green. Looking at that. And we're at 60, 70 already. Man, we're already getting light. There we are. We'll put the gear down. So this is a Johnson bar. The way this works is this goes down into the ground and locks. Now the gear is up. We're floating up. We'll take the uh, flaps out. We'll start building some speed. Pull the power back because I don't need to be going crazy hard. We'll get up to 500 feet. We'll turn off the fuel pump. We'll turn off this landing light too. And I can see downtown already. So we just got to go to there. That's so cool. What an awesome, awesome bird this is. Flies well. There is my 500 feet. We are going 500 feet per minute right now. 500 feet per minute is a good, uh, good one because I like to keep my cylinder head temperatures cool. And um, the, the, the faster I go um, is better because it helps keep them cool. Currently you're like 400 degrees. Um, Doing 110, and they'll come down. Oh, cow flaps. Open those suckers up. So that's another thing. Forgot to check, but cow flaps. Make sure the cow flaps are open on takeoff. Cow flaps basically shut all the compartment inside and keeps the air from flowing. And when it keeps the air from flowing, um, it doesn't cool the engine crap correctly. But now that I've got the cow flaps open, the ten engine temperatures are dropping pretty rapidly. Yeah, they're down. That's pretty good. So let's listen to the weather right now. Peak wind 220 at 26, reported at 2053 Zulu. Visual approaching use, landing and departing on May 13. Notice the air missions are May 523 closed. Advise on initial contact, you have uniform. Have uniform. Uniform is the weather, so. Every hour it changes. Uniform two zero five four zero. Same traffic left at one about five miles southwest. Two thousand five hundred. Better than five thousand and five. Temperature one one. Dew point minus two. Altimeter three zero zero one. For March. Peak wind two two zero at two six. Reported at two zero five three Zulu. Visual approaching use. Landing and departing on May one three. 
Notice the air missions are May 523 closed. Advise on initial contact, you have uniform. So we got some serious winds into Des Moines. 220 on 13, so we're gonna have um, gonna have some serious crosswinds, but that should be okay. They got a big giant runway, so. All right, 135.2 Delta 2086. Light, light one, that traffic off your right side, no factor. Additional traffic is 11 o'clock, 15 miles southeastbound. Is a citation 5600 VFR inbound to Ames Airport. Looks like they're setting themselves up for uh, maybe about a five mile final for runway 19 at Ames. Good copy, we're looking for them and we're talking on Ames as well. Left by one thing. Flight by one, they just switched over. Chain, uh, radar services, terminate squawk the fire for this change crew. Good day. Okay, left by one. Now we're adjusting the prop to make sure we get the best speed out of this. So we just go ahead and uh, tweak this. Get the best speed, best power. We're really moving across the ground here at 92 knots. Look at that nice headwind. <laughs> we'll go ahead and uh, call Des Moines. Let them know what we're going to be doing. That way they got a heads up. Good afternoon, Des Moines Approach, Moody 78875. Moody 78875, Des Moines Approach. Yeah, Moody 78875 is going to be entering your airspace. Uh, eventually I will be doing a landing. I'd like to uh, do a circle around Valley West Mall and then cross downtown, and I'll let you know when I'm coming in to land. 2875, squawk 0366. Squawking 0366. Uh, right now I'm at 2600, climbing to 3000. 2875, your radar contact 21 miles north of the Des Moines Airport, Des Moines Altimeter 3001. Maintain VFR at or below 4000 for now. Do you have the towers in sight at your 11 o'clock? And about three and a half miles at 3,000 feet, there's four towers. Yeah, I've got the towers in sight, and I'll 3001 for altimeter, and we'll stay below 4,000 feet for Moody 875. Moon approach, King Air 810 Bravo Sierra, leveling 1, 1,000, we have uniform. King Air 810 Bravo Sierra, Des Moines approach, to set and maintain 7,000. 7,000, zero Bravo Sierra. Mooney 875, contact approach on 135.2. 135.2 for Mooney 875. Come on, approach Mooney 78875, 3000. Mooney 78775, Des Moines approach, uh, Roger. All right, we are now flying to Des Moines. Now, it's going to be a slow flight only because uh, we got a headwind. I'm not going to burn a bunch of fuel. Um, gosh, I got temperatures down at 320, 310, 310 degrees. Pretty cool. We got the towers out here to the left of us. The towers um, go up to 3,500 feet. Uh, that's mean sea level, so uh, we are currently below the tops of those. And that's what. For my Julia turn, pressure flighting, 350 vector sequence. At 350 for my Julia. So they were uh, making sure that I could see those towers, so they didn't want me to run into those. So. Wisconsin 673, Des Moines approach, when April reduced, 5210. Got Sailorville Lake out in front of us. It's uh, got some ice on it. It's been cold. Today happened to be a 51 degree day. Foxtrot Golf Contact Tower 183. 51 degree day, which is pretty awesome. Uh, in, in December? Love it. Um, although it will get cold here, and believe me, Iowa, the weather changes like that. So. Um, goes from, from really uh, hot to cold to hot to cold to hot to cold. Um, uh, weather around here is going through menopause or something. So, uh, but crazy. I uh, love it that it gets to 51 degrees in December. So I uh, wish it could stay like that all winter long and um, get so back into spring and summer. Des Moines Airport, 12 o'clock, one zero miles. I've got the airport in sight for my Julia. Busy, busy, busy in Des Moines. Maybe it was not a good idea to to go mess up their traffic pattern. 6073, verify maintaining 4,000, please. Eight per amount of 5.3 for four, Wisconsin 6073. Mooney 875 is going to be right in the line of fire for runway 13, flying around uh, Valley West Mall. 
We've got lots of planes coming in. Wisconsin, I see another one over there. Uh, 6073, turn left heading 220. 220, Wisconsin, 6073. Good morning, approach. Mooney 875 is going to stay at 2,500 feet below. Uh, let me know if I need to get out of the way of these guys. Yep, Mooney uh, 875, fly heading uh, 130, please. 130 for Mooney 875. King Air, 6 year Charlie, descend to maintain 4,000. Descend maintain 4,000, 6 year Charlie. King Air, 0 Bravo Sierra, descend to maintain 3,000. Out of 5 for 3, Bravo Sierra. Bravo 673, turn left heading 160, intercept the localizer. 60 John Locke, Wisconsin. King Air Zero Bravo Sierra, turn left heading 220. Left 220, zero, zero Bravo Sierra. All right, we're going to. Mooney 875, turn left heading 090. Zero. Left 090 zero for Mooney 875. King Air Zero Bravo Sierra, turn left heading 180. On around left 180, zero, zero Bravo Sierra. Yeah, they're going to vector us around. It's busy. 6073 Des Moines Airport, 12 o'clock, 10 miles. Wisconsin 6073. Wisconsin 6073, clear visual approach, runway 13, maintain 170 knots, or grid until 5 mile final, contact tower. All right, clear visual 13, 170 or better, Wisconsin 6073. Money 875, turn left heading 310. Left 310 for Money 875. This is what happens when you uh, come into a busy airport. King Air Zero Bravo Sierra, vectored. number two traffic to follow, 11 o'clock, four miles southeast bound, uh, CRJ 200, 3000. Well, looking for traffic, Zero Bravo Sierra. King Air Six Sierra Charlie, fly heading 350, vector sequence. Uh, 350, vector sequence, Six Sierra Charlie. King Air Zero Bravo Sierra, turn left heading 160, intercept the localizer. Left 160 to intercept. Me and we do the airport site, negative on the traffic. King Air Zero Bravo Sierra, clear visual approach, runway 13, maintain 170 knots, still 5 mile final. Caution, only children in CRJ 200, 5 mile final. Cleared for the visual 13, 170 to 5 mile final, cleared uh, visual 13, Zero Bravo Sierra. Yep, busy, busy, busy. Got to sit there and uh, talk my way through this. King Air 6, Sierra Charlie, uh, reduce speed to 170. I'll reduce speed 170, 6, Charlie. At 310, so we're just going to keep heading 310 until he tells us not resume own navigation, or he vectors me back in. We will see. King Air 6, Sierra Charlie, turn right heading 220, person 040, right heading 040. Right turn 040, 6, Sierra Charlie. Mooney 875, you can resume our navigation now. Thanks for the help. Yeah, not a problem. Mooney 875 is going to turn back to uh, Valley West Mall. We're doing left 360 around there one time. Roger. There's the Clive Water Tower. Mooney 875, uh, traffic uh, 2 o'clock, 3 miles south eastbound, uh, King Air 3000. Mooney 875 is looking. King Air 6 Year Charlie, traffic uh, 10 o'clock. Four miles southbound, Money 2200. I'm looking, six here, Charlie. Yeah, good afternoon, Des Moines Beach, Triple Seven, going 6600 for 6000, heading 270. Money 875, uh, turn right, heading 290. 290 for Money 875. Beach, uh, Triple Seven, Golf, Des Moines approach, descend to maintain 4000. 4000. King Air 6 here, Charlie, traffic, no factor, contact tower 183. All right, traffic, no factor, tower 183. Have a good day, 6 here, Charlie. Money 875 has got traffic in sight. Money 875, Roger, resume one navigation. Resume own navigation for Money 875. 
All right, how cool is this? We're up at the, uh, the northwest corner between Grimes and Urbandale, and I uh, got traffic out in front of me. It's a King Air. Um, it's a little higher than I am. That's okay. But we're going to come down here and left 360 the mall. Also fly over my folks' house. We'll wave at them as we go by. Like they're going to see us. <laughs> One approach, King Air 9, so Uniform Tango, 16,000, descending 11,000 with Uniform. So my mom has an app King on her phone. Uniform Tango to one approach, procedure X cyclone, expect visual approach, runway 13, descend and maintain 10,000. Every time I take off, she gets notified. So she might so know direct that I'm out here. Cyclone, visual 13, descend maintain 10,000. King Air 9, so Uniform Tango. But, we don't. Approach is 70 T, uh, direct cyclone, or do you want it with direct Wadi? King Air 70 Uniform Tango, sorry, uh, proceed direct live. Direct live for 70 T, thanks. All right, flying over my folks' house. They live right down there. That's pretty awesome. And I got the mall in sight. So we'll see if we can see their house. And there it is, right there with the pool. The pool in the backyard. Yep. There's nobody there. Nobody outside. Nobody's waving. Nobody's saying, hey. My dad had surgery today, had cataract surgery, so. Beach at Trevor Southern Golf Lighting 300, descend and maintain, or correction, maintain 4000. 300, maintain 4000. All right, we are flying over Des Moines. This is so cool. Des Moines off in the distance there, the big, big buildings. Hopefully my 360 camera's still there. It was a little wobbly. I'm hoping that, uh, that it's, uh, that it's good. We're going to fly around the south side of Des Moines here, and you guys can see Des Moines and our lovely state capital. A couple weeks from now, we're going to be um, entertaining um, the Iowa caucuses. So this will be a big, major political hub here in the state of Iowa. Uh, there'll be lots of caucus sites going on and lots of people going out there and caucusing for their favorite and their, uh, their hopeful uh, presidential candidate. So uh, this is pretty awesome. So if you ever wondered what Des Moines was like, this is what Des Moines is like. It uh, has some big buildings. It's not Chicago. It's not uh, Miami. It's in the middle of the Midwest. But I tell you what, the, the life that you live in Iowa is grand. It's awesome. And it's beautiful. I love it here. And I've lived in a lot of places. I've lived in Miami. I've lived in Atlanta. I've lived in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. And I tell you what, I absolutely love Iowa. Iowa is such a fantastic place. And um, we're going to go ahead and make our turn to the uh, south and around the other side of downtown. So we'll see what's going on here. Mooney 78875, Des Moines Approach. Uh, Mooney 875, go ahead. The A75 advise complete and inbound to Des Moines. Uh, we, I am complete. I'm going to make a right turn around the Capitol here and on the south side of Des Moines, and uh, I can enter a left downwind for runway 13 if you like. Is it still uniform? The A75 it is, and uh, once you're complete, enter left base runway 13. Enter left base for runway 13. All right, we are just climbing our way around. That is pretty awesome. Listen to it again. Airport information uniform 2054 Zulu, wind 210 at 16, gust 24. 06 Charlie Delta, Des There is the capital, beautiful capital. Capital of Iowa, right there. Home, an office to Governor Kim Reynolds. 
Sirius 906, Charlie Delta, to my departure, ready to contact, turn left heading 360, maintain VFR, vectors RNAV, only 13, final approach course. And we are coming across the river here. You'll see a bunch of bridges and stuff. These bridges are pretty cool and pretty iconic. Um, there's a bridge out there with a big arch on it. It is a pedestrian bridge only. 875, fly heading 300, vector sequence. 300, vector sequence, for Mooney 875. Ooh, he's going to get us right over the city of Des Moines. How cool is that? Epic 1, November Delta, contact Tower 18-3. Tower 1, way point three one November Delta. So your 6, Charlie Delta, how's the approach terminate? Roger. Sequence. Mini-875, maintain VFR at or below 2,500. At or below 2,500 for Mooney 875. Sirius 6, Charlie Delta, turn left heading 310, maintain 3,000. All right, how cool is this? Flew directly over Des Moines. I hope my camera's still over there. <laughs> that is awesome. Mooney 75, traffic to follow 11 o'clock and uh, three miles turning final at 3,200 Cherokee. We are following a Cherokee and welcome by, so for Mooney 75. Mooney 875, uh, the airport just opened runway 23 and uh, we can actually, can you change to 23? I can do whatever you want me to do for Mooney 875 and I do have traffic in sight. Okay, very good. Mooney 875, follow that Cherokee off your left side. He is in a right base for 2-3, so you'll, you'll make a full left turn to 2-3. Perfect. I'll follow him uh, for runway 2-3. Mooney 875. Here's 6 Charlie Delta. The wind is 2-1-0, gust 2-4. Would you like RNF 2-3? Here's 6 Charlie Delta. Roger, turn right heading 0-5-0, base turn in about 6 miles. Mooney 875, contact tower 108.3. Good day. 18-3 for Mooney 875. Never 4857, contact Chicago Center 132.8. Good day. Thank you. Number 42, Bravo Lima, you had a question. They are all clear of the same area. I, I was with them before I, before I had you guys turn on the runway. Pop them, thank you. Good morning, Tower. Mooney 875 is with you. Mooney 875, Good morning, Tower. Wind 210 at 17, gust 24, runway 23, cleared land. Traffic to uh, Archer, right there. Yeah, runway two, two three clear to land. We need some time. Tower, is it okay if I do a stop and go, or do you need me to taxi back? Who's asking? Oh, we need eight seven five. Sorry about that. We need seven five runway two three clear stop and go. Say your intentions afterwards. Intentions afterward to head back to the north Thames for Mooney eight seven five. Roger on the go. Fly runway heading maintain at or below three thousand. At or below 3,000 Wow, you get busy, busy, busy. You have to sit there and look around for all this, through all the uh, the chaos that is uh, that is here. But they run, open runway 23, which is awesome because the runway, the weather, the winds are coming straight down the pipe. It had a pretty stiff crosswind if I'd have had to do uh, the other one. So we're flying back over downtown again. Yeah, 291, one ground rider. Pick a one of our Delta left, Papa three, taxi ramp via Papa, or made a three thing. Left Papa three, taxi ramp via All Papa. All right. I think one of the Delta. Booster pump, carb heat. Gas is on fullest tank. Undercarriage. Undercarriage, locked and set. Come on, baby. There you go, locked and set. Mixture's full rich, pops full forward. All right, runway two, three, clear to land. Gears down. We are good to go. Well, that was fun and entertaining. Little trip to Des Moines. We'll go ahead and do our stop and go. Uh, we'll count this on our Fly Iowa Challenge. And, uh, We'll move on with life. Head back to Ames.
And we are going to cook it back to Ames, let me tell you. Got a lovely golf course down there. That top center tower. Well, we just landed somebody on it. Mooney 875, go around. Mooney 875 is going around. Good morning, Tower. Service 906, Charlie Delta, RNAV 23. Service 6, Charlie Delta, Boyne Tower, continue for runway 23. Continue 23, 6, Charlie Delta. Doing a go around. Got the uh, UPS uh, jet out there. Twenty eight seven five got departure one two three point nine. Twenty three nine from twenty eight seven five. Approach when you get to the fives with you at 2,000 or 1,600. Mooney 875, Des Moines approach. Radar contact, say intention. I'd like to do a stop and go if I could here at the airport. Mooney 875. Mooney 875, oh. Okay, um, enter right downwind, turn right, and uh, you'll be entering a right downwind for 1-3. Right, and I'll be entering uh, right downwind for runway 1-3 for Mooney 875. Mooney 875, stay in that downwind, and go ahead and contact Tower and let them know what you would like. Point Tower, uh, Mooney 78875 is in the downwind for runway 1-3. like to do a stop and go. I mean, 875, uh, Roger, enter uh, right base for runway 13. Right base for 13, for Moody 6 Charlie Delta, on departure 123.9. Departure 6 Charlie Delta. 2875, wind 21014, runway 13, clear for the option. Clear for the option for 2875, runway 13. All right, booster pump, carb heat, gas is on fullest tank. Switch tanks anyway. That's on fullest tank. Auto carriage. Lock and set. There we go. Mixture's full rich. Pops full forward. Give ourselves some flaps. One, two. Moon 8 5 on the go. Fly runway heading maintain at or below 4,000. On the go at or below 4,000 for Moody 8 7 I was no daddy's dream, was not your mama's prayer, but I was your first and your last ticket out of there. I caught your wings on fire when I smoked my Bronco tires out of that town. I'm good at rolling dice, no good at standing still. You like the thought of chasing life instead of dollar bills. We're living reckless, nothing to catch us, baby, but the ground. This ain't for everybody, toes hanging off the ledge, like we got nothing to lose. Ain't always heaven, baby, this living. your purple sky it's time 
hands like canvas, baby. Let's paint it red tonight. Go out like shooting stars, chasing what's in our hearts. Into the blue. Yeah. jacking around we did in um, in Des Moines going everywhere my battery died but yeah, I was six Charlie Delta you want me to over tower but I was able to land 18-3 we'll check later 18-3 hard tower six Charlie Delta I was able to land there in uh, in Des Moines and and take back off did a stop and go there uh, major winds man crosswinds it was kind of fun Charlie Delta Charlie Delta Charlie Delta Charlie Charlie Delta Charlie Delta Charlie Delta Charlie Delta Charlie Delta Charlie and uh, there's at least two approaching or in the pattern at aim. Please caution as you get closer. Change to Vice Freaks proof. All right, we'll change Freaks and Squawk VFR. Thanks for your help today. It was a lot of fun coming in here morning. So anyway, that was a fun, challenging flight. We uh, went to uh, Des Moines. It was uh, vectoring here, vectoring there, vectoring everywhere. Uh, but we were able to get on the ground, runway 13 with a 210 uh, win, 13 knots. So it was coming at me pretty good, pretty gusty. Um, it was fun. It was a challenge to land, but I did it, made it, and I took off. And I'm so bomb, bummed about this camera. That the lack of battery time. Just, it's just silly to me. So, but, uh, but anyway, it is what it is. And uh, we're gonna get this landing here into uh, Ames. Hopefully, this camera. Oh, there we go. This camera is still running. Must have bumped that thing. So. Hopefully I got some good video of the underside. That would have been that would have been awesome. So, so basically just doing this for the Fly Iowa Challenge today and to support the Giving Machine. So I'm going to say it again. Go see the Giving Machine at Valley West Mall. We're scorching it across the ground at 166 knots. <laughs> this plane is fast. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. All right. Okay, so you go back to Booster uh, pump, carb heat. Yeah, we're going to park up here by the terminal. Gas on fullest tank. Yep, undercarriage. Locked and set. And we will give ourselves some props. Yeah, we've got the 2286 Lima. There's a cross red 1A. And traffic booty 875 is turning left base for runway 198. Well, I love it's kind of hard to understand that guy. <laughs> well, I love the rain, such a beautiful sight. I love to feel the rain on my face, taste the rain on my face. Oh, I love a rainy night. In the moonlight, a rainy night. Showers wash all my kids away. I wake up to a sunny day because I love a rainy night. Hey, Chef, Moody 875 is on final for runway 198. Oh, I love a rainy night. I seem like I'm just floating here because the wind is coming at us so strong. I love a rainy night. 
Eddie Rabbit sings that song, Love a Rainy Night. I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of Rainy Nights. Well, I am. I like to sleep when it's thundering. In fact, every night I have my sleep, sleep generator. It's thunderstorms. We're coming in. Coming in hot. Because we're doing 90. 80 miles an hour in the air. We're only doing 60 knots across the ground. We got flaps in, we got the green light on, we got a gas on Phyllis tank, that's full forward, that's done. Cow flaps are open. And we are coming in, got the big one nine right there. We will. Showers wash on my cows away. I wake up to a sunny day, cause I love a rainy night. There's my stop. Yeah, I love a rainy night. And I don't want to could have, could have back taxied that runway and made it back fairly good, fairly simple, fairly easy. Well, I want to thank you guys for being here today. Remember to like and subscribe to this channel. Um, every time you like it, I think it changes the algorithm on YouTube. So make sure when you watch it, just hit the like button at the end and um, or the beginning. I don't care where you hit it, but just hit that like button. Um, I, for some reason, uh, they talk about... Um, algorithms I don't know anything about computer stuff so I don't know anything about YouTube algorithms or any kind of stuff so let's just experiment see what happens so uh, like it and if you're not a subscriber I'd ask you to subscribe to this channel so um, I have a lot of fun doing this I fly all over central Iowa and have a great time doing it um, I flew today to Des Moines which was pretty awesome but more to the point the reason I did it today is because we are going to be having um, the Giving Machine at Valley West Mall from December 11th through the 18th. Um, really cool, cool deal. It allows people to be able to go and donate money to help people in need. And there are lots of local charities along with international charities that you can give to. Um, there'll be plenty of entertainment there. We have the Grinch showing up. We have choirs and bands and all kinds of cool stuff and story time and, and all that kind of stuff. If you're interested in lurk and learning about the Giving Machine, uh, you can go on Facebook, uh, the Giving Machine Midwest on Facebook, and it will actually have everything that you need to know when it comes to um, uh, what's going on, what are the dates, What who's who's going to be there, and uh, bring your family, bring your kids along, and uh, decide Ground together. X, X up waiting, runway one nine. Decide, decide uh, what you want to do as a family, where you want to give. Uh, remember, when you give, you bless other families, and you bless yourself. So uh, please, 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 please go to the giving machine and do what you can to give, uh, what, and give what you can, uh, because there are a lot of needy families during this time of year, and uh, we need to make sure that we're taking care of them as well. So anyway, will you guys take care. Uh, remember to have a great day, great week, great month, and we will see you over the friendly skies of Iowa. So take care. Peace. Bye.